Hello everybody, get ready to do lesson 9.7 pre-algebra math part one. And today we got a 42 point class worksheet and zero points here for note taking. And teachers, here's today's bell work students. Here it is. What is the distance? So we need to have a distance problem, copy and complete using your inequality or an equal sign here. Give your students six minutes. Okay, welcome back for our solutions. Five times square root of two, you have your distance formula here. You have your two points up here. Plug into your distance formula, your two points. And this is what you come up with for your calculations. Students, if you don't have this, copy this down on your class worksheet so you can get credit for it. And then down here, copy and complete. What do we have here? Square root of one half is what in relation to negative five sevenths? What is that? It's greater than, you bet you it is, negative five sevenths way over here. Here's square root of one half. Okay, then you found side lengths of special right triangles. You'll use tangent to find the side lengths of right triangles. This is the moon's surface here. Determine the height or depth of a lunar formation. A trigonometric ratio is a ratio of the lengths of two sides of a right triangle. One basic trigonometric trigonometric ratio is the tangent abbreviated. So in this situation here, the tangent of an acute angle of a right triangle is the ratio of the length of the side opposite the angle to the length of the side adjacent to the angle. So we're going uh, tan A, which is here. Here's angle A. Tan A would be opposite. This is opposite over adjacent. And then here's your ratio set, or set up over here, opposite A over adjacent A equals A over B. So that's the idea there of a tangent. Okay, students, in your own words, define trigonometric ratio, define tangent. Classwork, this is your classwork sheet today. It's not notebook, so it comes in today at the end of class. Example one, finding the tangent ratio, find for a PQR, find the tangent of angle P, which is right here. This is your angle P. What would be the tangent of that angle? So opposite over adjacent would be 77 over 36 would be your tan of angle P. Now into our first guided practice here. For PQR, find tan Q. So we're going to find a tan of this angle here, tan Q. What is that going to be? Uh, students, this is yours down here. Find that. So that is 36 over 77 for tan Q in PQR. So you see how we got that? You should be able to see that. And this will be 36. Here's your uh, Q is here. So it'll be opposite over adjacent here. 36 over 77. Okay, into our example two here. Find tan. Whoa, 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 wait a minute. Tan 18. How do we do that? We plug that into a calculator here. So second trig, depending on your calculator, second trig. And uh, so we just go, we need a tan function here. I don't see a tan function here. Second trig, and then they have these arrows. I don't understand that entry there. So anyway, you get tan 18 on your calculator and you get this number here. That's the fastest way, tan 18. This will give you the, the result of your ratio of your, of your tan quotient in a triangle. Tan 18 equals 0.3249. This gives it here, it kind of fades to black here, but that's what tan 18 is on your calculator. Okay, well for this one, Tan 45, what's tan 45 is 1? Because we have opposite over adjacent, there would be in a 45, 45 triangle, it's um, square root of 2 over square root of 2, which is which is 1. Second trig, and th evidently this uh, calculator here, you get that. Tan 45 equals 1. Okay, use the calculator to approximate tan 10 and tan 75 to four decimal places. Students, this is yours here, tan 9 degrees. So let's do this one up here first. Here, tan 10, you should get 0. point this number. 
and then 1075 you should get 3.7321 students you should get this if you don't get this raise your hand and then down here this is yours and that is nine lesson 9.7 part one part two part three is available at this email thank you